my channel and thank you so much for tuning in with me today so I'm coming back to you guys with another video um, that is part of my makeup series where I am doing multiple looks with one eyeshadow palette and using one eyeshadow palette only and I'm coming back to you guys with the Nika K New York um, 23 perfect 23 matte colors um, I've done two looks on this already. I will leave the link in the description bar so you guys can check those tutorials out. But today I have done something a little different. I think with this makeup palette, I kind of went from really warm to warm and cool to just cool. So um, I really like that. Um, I'm mixing it up a little bit with this palette, just showing you how versatile this palette can be. In this look, I mainly focused on this bottom row right here this very cool tone bottom row um i did do a couple of these uh, a couple of the warmer eyeshadows in the crease and actually um to be honest these warm these browns aren't necessarily warm tone they're more on the neutral side we have a couple of warms in here such as this one here um, this one and it's a little bit more warm on this side but for the most part like these shades here are mainly cool tone um, or neutral shades so um, that's something that I just kind of I guess kind of noticed within this palette I think this is going to be my last look using this palette and then we'll be moving on to another palette but I may be done with this palette I don't know but I think this is gonna be my last look using this palette but if you guys wanted to see another look using this palette I would definitely do that another thing that I did different was I have on no eyelashes I don't have on any eyelashes. Today I decided to go all natural and I used the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Lash Mascara today on my top and bottom lashes. And I must say I'm really enjoying how it looks. It really gives you a chance to show off the eyeshadow. And pretty much everything else is the same as far as face makeup wise in, my, um, in this tutorial. And I'm gonna stop yapping now and we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna start off with my crease color. I'm using that last shade to the end and I am applying that all in the crease. Next, I'm going in with this shade, a little deeper shade, and I'm applying that in the crease as well, just to deepen it a little bit. Then I'm going in with this grayish blue shade. I'm applying that to the crease from inner to outer corner, and then I'm taking it and winging it out on the outer corner so I can start to create this wing effect with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be creating my base um, for my cut crease, and I'm also gonna be creating a wing with the cut crease as well. Next, over top, I'm gonna to be using this gray shade, the lightest gray shade in the palette, and I'm gonna place that from the inner and almost to the outer corner, um, but not quite. Then I'm going in with that darker gray shade and I'm going to be placing that on the very outer corner and kind of connecting that lighter gray shade with the darker gray shade. Using the black, I wanted to deepen up that outer corner, deepen up that wing and I'm just placing that on the very outer corner just making sure to um, smudge it out and make sure it, it blends effortlessly. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown foundation and of course you know I like to apply it in sections and then to really go in for another application I like to pat that in with my fingers because that gives the most opaque look possible. I'm going to be using my NARS found, um, creamy concealer in caramel to highlight and under my eyes as well as in other areas such as my forehead, nose, and chin. I'm going to brighten up the highlight with my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I'm just really concentrating that in the inner corners of the eyes and everywhere else. Next, I'm going to be bronzing my skin using my Giordana uh, Contour Creamy Stick. And I'm gonna let that set while I blend out the hi uh, highlight. And then I'm going in and I'm buffing out that contour. Next, I'm gonna be setting everything using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. 
to set my foundation, I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Press Powder in Golden Cashews. You guys know I'm obsessed with these pressed powders. Going in with another pressed powder by Black Radiance, I'm using Cafe to set and add a little bit more color and definition to my bronzer. Now in the inner rim on the lower lash line, I'm going to be using this NYX Faux White Inner Eye Brightener in White Smoke. And from inner to outer corner, I'm adding that light gray shade, and then I'm adding the white eyeshadow to the center of the lower lash line, adding mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And then I am deepening up the outer corner with my Prestige Black Eyeliner, and then brightening up the inner corner with the white eyeshadow. Next, I'm going in and bronzing up my face. Moving back to my face with the Black Radiance Bronzer in Rose Gold. And then I'm gonna give myself that pregnancy glow, that healthy glow with my Matte Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. Then I'm gonna be spotlight highlighting with Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. lips with my Dread on a Lip Liner in Coco Loco and then going over that with Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Driver. Then adding a little gloss and this is in the shade Charmer. Setting my face and voila. Okay you guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!